What a Wimbledon for Andy Murray. Gold in the men's singles and then silver with Laura Robson in the mixed doubles. They're here with me now, Andy. The greatest uh, moment of your career so far? Yeah, um, yeah best day of my, my tennis career, that's for sure. And yeah, the whole the whole week, to be honest, um, it wasn't just today, but the whole week was so much fun, so different um, to what we're used to experiencing at, at most tennis tournaments. And um, yeah, best day of my life. Does it make up for what happened with Federer last month? Uh, it helps, that's for sure. The, the Wimbledon final was a tough one, but you know it was good to, to bounce back this way in, in a positive manner and obviously winning gold medal. Um, yeah, it's it's huge dream come true for me. So would have liked to win Wimbledon as well, but not to be. Laura, what was it like watching Andy win that match? It was really exciting. I was so nervous on the side of the court and I was just so excited when you served it out quite well, yeah. fairly well. And yeah, it was it was quite emotional for all of us in the box because I was sitting just behind Judy and yeah, she was crying. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, did it compare to the Grand Slam atmosphere at Wimbledon? It seemed to be a bit different on TV watching. Yeah, it was it was different. It's more, um, you know, when we play Davis Cup, for example, when you are playing for your country and the whole crowds but behind you, that's kind of what it felt like at Wimbledon. Obviously, the you know the crowd, the support's fantastic, but you know they try to to support really the match and uh, and and the points. Um, you know, whereas today, every time I won a point, no matter what, if it was a good point, bad point, it was just so so loud and um, yeah, helped me through. Djokovic used the Davis Cup win as a springboard for greatness in the Grand Slam game. Can you do the same with this win, do you think, in the Grand Slams? I don't know. I mean, I have to wait and see. But, you know, right now, obviously, you know, I would hope I would gain some confidence from it. Um, you know, there's the US Open coming up in a few weeks and three weeks from uh, tomorrow. And, you know, I want to get ready for that and give myself a, a chance of winning there. But it's, it's, it's been, been a great week and I hope um, that, it is, that it is a springboard for more success. Laura, tell us about the mixed doubles final. It was very close. You were so close to the gold. Just tell us about that match. Yeah, well, it's disappointing to only get silver, but, you know, it's still a medal. So it's really exciting for me. It was, it was definitely a tough match. You know, they were the top seeds, so they played really well in the second set and the match tie break in the third. Um, but yeah, it's still one of the best weeks of my life for sure. Andy, how good was Laura this week? Yeah, she played. Uh, she played really well, um, especially in the. We, all of her matches went down to this sort of ten-point match tiebreaker at the end. And she played some really good tennis um, in the important moments, and you know she's she's only eighteen, and it, you know there's a lot a lot of people watching the matches. Great atmosphere, huge support, and you know some people find that um, very hard to deal with to, to take the pressure, especially when when you're young. Um, and she dealt with it really really well and played some some great tennis and just two two three points away from winning a gold medal so um she she'll have another shot at it that's for sure and laura olympic silver medalist i mean that's still pretty good you must be very proud yeah absolutely um you know i grew up watching the olympics on tv and my family are complete olympics junkies so it's it's been really exciting for all of us this week and you're off to toronto now are you actually playing on wednesday or what are you doing now yeah, I leave. Uh, I leave tomorrow. We've got a flight at four o'clock, and my first match, uh, I've been told, will be third from eleven o'clock on Wednesday. So, not a whole lot of time to sort of celebrate. Have you done you any favours with that draw? Uh, not really. Uh, it's actually yeah, I got quite a tough draw, um, but. Yeah, I'll just enjoy this for the next next couple of days, and it's it's a change of surface as well. We've gone to the hard court too, so um, need to make sure I don't have my expectations too high there. But I want to be ready for the U.S. Open in a few weeks. You must feel you've got a great chance though there uh, at the U.S. Open. Yeah, that, well, I, I've played well there in the past, and I've always loved playing on the hard courts. And you know, hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'll gain some confidence. Um, you know, from winning the the gold medal here and. You know, it's it's only a few weeks away, and it's been a long, long few uh, few months with Wimbledon, obviously now, and, and the US. And in a few weeks, I'll need to make sure I get some good rest in and pace myself. I don't want to be tired by the time I, I get there. Just finally to both of you, what's it been like to be part of Team GB at these incredible games? Uh, I think it's been really incredible for both of us. You know, both of us are really proud to represent Great Britain, and um, it's been great weeks for both of us. Andy? 
Yeah, I, I've loved it. Um, you know, from the first we came and stayed in the village for a couple of nights and loved that experience. Um, you know, not just playing in front of the the home crowd at Wimbledon, but also watching all the other athletes. Like last night, we watched um, watched the athletics, and it's just been amazing. We've seen so many great performances by by the athletes, and just glad that we were able to contribute to to the medal count. But it's been been a, a lot of fun. Andy, thanks so much for your time. Just hold us up those medals so, so we can see just uh, what they yeah. mean to you both. And there they are: Andy yeah. Murray, gold medal in the singles, and then the silver with Laura in the mixed doubles.